Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. It's Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So today we're talking Love Island UK once we'll get because there is more that I have to discuss regarding this after sun appearance because as you guys know, conveniently, they have this beautiful date that aired on tonight's episode of Love Island between Dami and India. Shout out to Indami Hive. Shout out to Damia Hive. And they, of course, have Amber and Akena on to react and to get their unfiltered thoughts on things. Akena seems to be taking the high road and having it in stride even though I still call cap on the fact that he is still claiming to have had feelings for India and I personally just haven't I just haven't seen it you guys I haven't seen what he is talking about I've seen him have more energy towards Gemma and more energy towards Danica in comparison to India but I think he's just playing it up because she's a fan fave um with that being said Amber I thought she would take the high road because as you guys know I was 10 toes down for Damber I thought Damber would go the distance and everything else I was completely wrong and you know once the red flag started to happen once the problem started to happen between Dami and Amber Dami like completely you know exited right he completely hid from Amber he planned his exit strategy and decided to start grafting India you guys um but the problem that I had with Amber was that she made it seem like basically she was betrayed that she was betrayed in some capacity and the only thing I will say is that yes they probably could have told Amber prior to her elimination but they weren't expecting that elimination to take place that evening and they wanted to break it to her the following day but for Amber to try to tarnish Dami's rep and try to tarnish his name when Dami is well liked by everybody you could tell that like producers really like Dami um because he's always giving us like funny sound bites and interesting things to talk about you could tell the villa loves Dami because they're always going to him for advice um and they're always trying to seek out his opinion on things whether they agree or disagree with him or not they always want Dami in the mix and of course the fans love him and love his transparency and his, and his honesty and his authenticity and Amber needs to own the fact that there was a certain point in time that she stopped being interested in Dami, that there was something that gave her the ick, whether she was never attracted to him to begin with, whether she didn't enjoy his kisses, whether she didn't enjoy his PDA, because as you know, Dami's um, love language is physical touch. And then at some point he stopped touching Amber. So, you know, for her to get on after sun and to say, hey, we were still kissing and having a proper snog in this and that while he was pursuing India. I don't feel as completely true, you guys. I do not feel as completely true. Now, definitely editing can show us what they will or will not show us for sure. But it never seemed like in bed that I think maybe the first couple of nights we saw like some cuddles and things of that nature here and there. But when the ladies debriefed the following morning about what took place and the guys would debrief the following morning on what took place overnight, if there was any cuddles, if there was any kisses and this and that, I never recalled Amber and or Dami saying that, yeah, we had a proper snog last night or, or this and that. I never heard any of that. And then trying to further tarnish Dami's reputation by saying how, you know, he still hooks up with his exes or still friends with his exes or he told her some stuff about things on the outside. And I'm like, OK, but you still wanted to brag at the same time that you still chose to kiss him after that. So what does that make you if you were that turned off by it? So like, which is it? Are you turned off um, because you're still not in the competition and you couldn't, you know, get yourself further in the game because of this messiness? Or are you upset as your ego bruise that you did not last longer than some of the other people in the villa and you go on record and say you want to be with Luca, but then try to backtrack and say it's like brother and sister. But it makes sense why you have it bad for Luca. You guys literally are the same person in terms of the energy, in terms of the looks that you give people, in terms of your opinion on things and trying to start trouble and trying to instigate certain things. Now it all makes Makes sense you guys and now it makes sense why the girls all went to amber and liked amber is and as opposed to ek and sue was because amber was going to be the one that was going to be outspoken unfiltered and didn't care whether or not people you know had a thing to say about it or not and it seems they didn't mind going to amber when they wanted to be catty about some of the other women it seems like india at this point is the only female islander in there that is not involved in any mess 
And I don't understand why trying to come for a popular fan base is a good idea. Allegedly, Amber is liking basically every single person's post on social media, on Instagram, except for India and Dami. And I don't see this as a big betrayal, you guys. I don't see this as a big betrayal. I see this as, you know, India and Dami, it was out of their hands who they chose to couple up with from the beginning. And then they both started to see red flags of their own in their own couple. Dami was doing the most for Amber. He was, you know, trying to make her breakfast. He was always trying to show PDA to her. And she literally was throwing her hands off of him and trying to get his hands off of her, you guys. So how am I supposed to believe that you guys were this great love story? And this is coming from a Damber fan, you guys. How am I supposed to believe you guys were this great love story and you literally were pushing this man off of you? And literally the bed scenes that we saw of you, you guys couldn't be, you know, on opposite sides of the bed to the point that Dami was almost falling off the bed um, because he was so far away from you. And I'm just, and meanwhile, we're seeing cuddles, we're seeing Dami, you know, pulling the covers over, trying to kiss India now and being intentional, whereas Akena was all like, yeah, I just like to go to bed and go to sleep. I don't want to talk or kiss or none of that. Meanwhile, Dami's giving a completely different energy. It is night and day of how Dami and India are right now compared to how they were in their couples. Their couples were holding them back. Their couples were bringing out some of the worst in them and making them reclusive and making them closed off and making them feel insecure and inadequate. And I just don't understand why Amber can't just own that she wasn't into him like that. And she simply was trying to coast until her type came in and she didn't want any backlash. She didn't want to be ek ensued if she actively pursued Jay. Like if we just want to keep it a buck. And this is somebody who supported Amber. This is somebody who wanted Amber to stay in the game longer because I wanted to see her reaction to India and Dami. But now I am kind of glad that they are not, she's not in the villa at this point in time because it would have just been something that would have completely tarnished what is beautifully blossoming. And, um, you know, she would have made it about herself and would have made it feel as though she was betrayed. But if she's as that close to the guys as she claims, she would know that Dami has been telling them that there have been issues with her and Am with him and Amber for quite some time, that there was this power struggle, that they didn't see eye to eye on different things. And honestly, if we're keeping it a buck, India and Dami suit each other better. They both have, you know, the piercings going on. They both seem very eccentric. They both seem open to, you know, different types of things. Whereas Amber... She seems, you know, a little rigid in some capacity. She seems like posh in some capacity. She seems as though, you know, she is giving Stepford wife some time. She wants like a very nice posh lifestyle. She is, you know, a little judgy if you are not, you know, doing everything to a T to where you, to where you want her to or whatever. And it seems as though she still wanted Dami to do all of these things for her even though she was no longer interested, even though at some point she got the ick and also distanced herself and made reasons to also get into fights with him so that she didn't have to be around him so she could hang around Luca and the other guys more. And I just do not understand this narrative that she is trying to push on After Sun to not only try to discredit what India and Dami have, but also try to tarnish Dami's name. Dami told us in his intro how he moves and that if he's dating around, he tells all the women up front what it is. And that if he is single and still hooking up with people, he tells everybody what it is. But he also made it a note to say that once he is into somebody, it's a different energy. He's focused in on them. So... For Amber, that could have been you. This could have been you. But real talk, the tennis date conversation in retrospect is not on the same level as what India and Dami were talking about on their date. It, they were talking about some real things where it still seemed very surface level, very superficial with you and Dami and Dami trying to poke and prod and trying to get deeper with you and you wouldn't let him in. You seemed very closed off to him and you seemed as though you were kind of just growing through the motions with him until you ultimately got the end 
sick. And then Dami basically was like, okay, I'm going to disappear for you from you for a while. And you kept asking where he was. <laughs> and he was everywhere but around you. So I just, I don't think this was a good look. And I have a feeling that the reunion is going to be a mess. I hope Amber learns by the reunion that this was not the move, that this was not the look, that this was not the energy to give out there. So therefore, um, I hope once she sees some of the reaction and the feedback on social media, she kind of backs off because this was not a good idea, especially when she was getting some of the most hate this season. And I was going to bat for her when so many people were saying that, you know, she was bad vibes, that she was messy and that she was all of these things. And from a TV show perspective, people, you know, find that, you know, to a degree entertaining. But if this is how she truly feels and is not trying to follow a script of being a scorned woman, then I I, I can't rock with that, you guys. And like I said, I'm always going to keep it a buck. I'm always going to keep it 100. I'm always going to keep it authentic with you guys. And this is somebody who likes Amber. This is somebody who supported Amber, who was 10 toes down for Damber, you guys. But this energy that she is giving um, just is not okay. It's just not okay. She could have taken the high road, you guys. She could have, you know, spoke highly of the both of them and said, hey, you know, things did not work out the way that I wanted for Dami and myself, but I am happy that they are thriving and they look different. They have a different energy. They have a different personality that they are bringing out of each other for the positive. And I understand now, you know, why they got on so well as friends. She could have just said that and kept it there. Even Akena knew the connection that Dami and India have. And he is not pressed. He does, He is hurt. But he is not vocally, you know, trying to diminish this couple or trying to make it seem like it was some sort of a cheating scandal, you guys. Because it wasn't. So there is that. But let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.